Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Scott and welcome to mailbag number three. This is an opportunity for students to ask questions about presentation skills. So let's start with letter number one. Letter number one is from Courageous in Kaobang. Okay, I think we've gotten a letter from Kaobang before. But let's see what Courageous in Kaobang has to say. Dear Mr. Scott, when presenting, should students look at the poster a lot? Regards, Courageous in Kaobang. You know, that's a good question. I think sometimes students are confused about um, if they should be looking at the poster or not, or looking at the screen or not. Now, it's okay to look at your poster a little bit, maybe to um, figure out where exactly a picture is, or to direct the audience's attention to something specific. But we don't want to be facing the poster or the screen at any point. We want to make sure that our bodies are facing the audience. And you can look back at your poster or the screen, but the important thing to do is to not turn your body so that your back is to the audience, because that's just, um, it's, it's kind of off-putting for the audience, and it's also difficult for them to hear your voice. All right, let's move on to letter number two, and that is from Bashful and Bakkan. Okay, Bashful and Bakkan. Dear Mr. Scott, how can I make sure the phrases and vocabulary I'm using are correct? Regards, Bashful and Bakkan. This is a really good question. I think a lot of times when students are presenting, they're confronted with a word or some type of, some type of expression that they don't know how to say in English. So usually what they do is they grab their dictionary and they do what I call dictionary digging, where they take out a dictionary, they find the word, and oh, and they either write that into their notes or put that onto their visual. And this can be kind of dangerous because oftentimes for one word there's many definitions and you can end up saying something that really doesn't make sense in English. So uh, one thing that um, I would do is take the phrase or the sentence you want to say and put it in quotation marks and then enter it into Google and see if that word or phrase gets many hits. Um, this can be one test you can use using the internet. Another thing you can do is ask someone and um, that can be sometimes effective depending on the person that you ask, but you really want to try to make sure that the things that you're saying really do make sense and that the words you're using uh, make sense. And sometimes we need to look at more than one dictionary or more than one reference and I think the internet can be a great way to check the words and phrases that we use. That's a good question. Now we move on to letter number three, and that is from Vane and Ving. Vane and Ving. Interesting. Dear Mr. Scott, how should I dress for a class presentation? Signed, Vane and Ving. You know, the way we dress really is important because if you think about it, sometimes our bodies are a visual aid. You know, sometimes uh, students will dress in a costume or use some kind of type of um, shirt, hat, something that can be used as almost like an object visual. But most importantly, our appearance should not be a distraction to the audience. So we want to dress nicely. Um, I would say if you're giving a class presentation, you want to dress a little bit nicer than the average student. And this can mean um, making sure that you have shoes on and not sandals or flip-flops. What? There's nothing to see here. And making sure that um, your clothes are clean, 
and they look nice and it, you're just presenting yourself in the best way possible so that the audience isn't looking at you and maybe looking at a stain on your shirt or something like that and getting distracted. So we want to make sure that our appearance is not distracting when we present. Okay, these are really good questions and uh, thank you for them. If you have any other questions, please feel free to send them through the website or talk to me in class. I'm Mr. Scott and I will see you next time.